Welcome Behind the Bar, Paul Star brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Dance Championship, Barry Van Peer and Corey Cadmi have won through to the final of the PDC World Youth Championship, where of course that will be taking place over the Players' Championship weekend, the end of November in Butlins in Minehead. And of course last weekend, we also saw a win for Alan Norris, who won his maiden European tour with a 6-5 win over Jelle Klassen. This week's show, we have been joined by no other than the great Terry Jenkins. How are you doing, Terry? Well, not too bad. Good, good. I haven't stopped you for having your tea or anything. Hey, is that the dogs in the background? No, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me dogs. Yeah, here, Megs. Who's this? Come Look here. at this. This is what, at home with Terry Jenkins. This is what we want. Look at that. So who do we have here then, Terry? That's Pipsy. Yeah. And that's, I don't know if you can see that, yeah. Megan on. Ah. The other one, Meg, she's a bit shy. Ah. <laughs> they, they keep you busy, do they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do, do they do they scream do they scream and go when you're on the telly? Do they recognise you? I, I don't know. I'm never here to see, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I thought whether the miss. <laughs> great answer. <laughs> great answer. So uh, hey, at uh, the flight club, that was great. Playing on that those electronic scoring systems, normal normal dartboards. But that that was clever. That was good fun, wasn't it? Last evening. Yeah, I've never seen those boards before. I think I think they're the first. I was talking to them. And they're the first people to have them over here i think so um yeah it was good fun it was interesting right? and yeah. it was good fun to play the different games yeah makes great. a change from 501 all the time yeah e e exactly exactly great stuff that was so um terry there's a hey, there's a rumor going round that um after the world championship that that could be it is is, is this correct yeah i'm gonna wind it right down after the world championship i'll, I'll probably knock the tours on the head uh especially the european tours and uh, i'll just play it what what i what i'm in through the rankings already and do more exhibitions yeah i won't not i won't i won't stop the exhibitions i'll keep doing that and yeah, the you're, you're great at those and of course you're as popular as ever I, you know down at the uk open when the draws come out you know the next round and your name comes out in and on the wall cons they do love you don't they oh yeah i suppose they do i'm one of the most popular players i suppose uh whether that's down to me walk on bully bully the music's good and and i'm always smiling i'm always having a bit of fun like so I just get up there and get on with the job. I don't. I don't mess about like some players do. I just. I just get up there and play the game. Yeah, and say the but bully, bully, great, great walk on. So that 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 could be. Is it say just the severe lack of travelling? In hey, look, we're not getting any any younger. Is that is that what it boils down to? Because obviously you can compete at the top level. Yeah, it is. It is getting hard for me now. I mean, when I was younger, it was easier. I, I didn't join the PDC till I was in my late late thirties. So um, I joined pretty late, really, and. Uh, I wish it had all happened when I was in my mid twenties, and I'd have had a bit more time to go, I suppose, another ten years maybe. But uh, I mean, I'm 53 now, and it's 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 getting hard work at, at the minute. So well, I've got to I've got to do something and wind it down. Well, you look you're looking well on it. Hey, I don't want to keep mentioning it, but nine nine major finals. I know you didn't actually get over the, perhaps the line on any of them, but to compete in nine, if the standard of players you've been competing against. You've got to actually look back and think, well, actually, that didn't go too bad. Oh, yeah, I suppose, for joining when it's a, such a late age, like, and uh, I, I've done well to get in nine major finals. Um, there's, there's top players that have never been in one, so I, I've got to think myself lucky. It would be nice to win a, one or two of them, but, uh, or all nine, maybe. Yeah. But I'm really happy with the, the way my career's gone in the darts. I, I only treat it as a hobby, really. It, it wasn't my main... My main job. I still carried on doing me furniture and and me houses and stuff, and uh, I just treated it as a hobby, really. So it's been a really good hobby at the end of the day. Yeah, because you you're into your your, your an antiques and things, aren't you? Is that is that where is that your love? Is that you know where you what what you enjoy doing? Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like me antiques. <laughs> oh, look at this! Look at that. Do you do you pick all this stuff up in in sales and things? Uh, all over the place, really. Private places or auctions or wherever, yeah. We went to an auction yesterday. We bought some nice stuff yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit stuff. of an expert on that, are you? Looking for the... um, I, I know what to look for sort of thing. I, I, I do know me stuff, I suppose, because I've been in it since I, I was really young. Mm. My dad used to do it, so I've been brought up with it sort of thing, so it, it makes it easier for me. Yeah. Well, well you mentioned, uh, mentioned earlier on about... Uh, Say that the, the nine major finals. However, eight hey, next next weekend you start off your the European Championship uh, against e Ian White. Hey, you never. This could be the one. This could still. There's still time. Still time, Terry. 
Yeah, Ian's, Ian's a tough first round player, really. He's, he's is. playing well at the moment, and uh, we're both sponsored by the same person, so uh, we're in the same sort of camp. And, and same as Alan Norris, as me, Ian, and Alan Norris. And uh, but Ian's Ian's a brilliant player. When he get if, if he starts hitting those one eighties, I've I've never seen on the practice board. I've never seen anybody hit ten eighties like him. So he's he's no easy pushover. He's gonna. He's going to be a tough cookie, and I beat him last time, mate. So he's going to be gunning for me this time. Yeah, he certainly is some some player to say. So we'll be trying to get it, get it back there in in uh, in Belgium, I believe believe it is to say. So let's say all, all the traveling, it's great and the money's great, but it does take its toll, doesn't it? So um, yeah, yeah, we'd be driving over to Belgium. I think I'm going to drive over there. It's not too bad to drive. So and we'll see. And of course, the great wall cons. Uh, who, who came up with the idea, Terry? Obviously, the the the. the the ball, the raging ball, obviously from you know, where where you're from. But um, who come up with the these sort of the, the, the horns? As I used to be called Tucker off Grange Hill because I had a tash and long hair, and when I was younger, and they called me Tucker when I was younger. But uh, Sky Television wanted me to be called the Bull because I'm from Herefordshire, and they wanted the Hereford Bull, and they wanted that theme music. And uh, it was Dave Clark that asked me to do the do the horns upon stage. He bet me I wouldn't do it, so I. I do it every time, and now I'm I'm just expected to do it. Yeah, they, so, they love it. They absolutely love it, don't they? Oh yeah, definitely. They boo me if I didn't do that. They boo me off the stage. Yeah. So I've got to do it. I've got no choice now. Yeah. And if you finish the leg on a ball, of course, they seem to relate that obviously with the name as well. Even though that's not where it came from, but they uh, that that goes down well as well with the crowd. Do you actually try? Do you ever leave the bullseye just you know when perhaps you shouldn't go for that shot? You know, just to just to keep the crowd on your side. Um, I suppose I don't really, but I mean it is a good finish. It's nice to go out on the ball now and again. It's uh, it's a good crowd crowd pleaser. So you do go for it now and again, but I only like going for it when I really have to. Really, I think it's a a last dart shot. Yeah, I mean, if you're on fifty, you should, and you got two darts, you should go ten double top or whatever. But it is nice to go for the ball if you're in miles in front then. Yeah, just go for it. It doesn't matter, does it? And that double top, that's got you through a few matches in the past, hasn't it? That's that's your uh, signature double, isn't it, really? Yeah, that's why I was disappointed missing it in the last the last couple of competitions. The Grand Prix, I missed double top uh, a couple of times and it cost me. And uh, last weekend in Germany, I missed double top really bad and um, that cost me again. Mm, OK, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Terry. And... Uh, I say maybe the loss of the, on the big stage and not seeing you perhaps as much next year, but uh, on the exhibition circuit, we look forward to seeing you there. Oh yeah, I'll do more exhibitions. So people are still seeing me. They're still seeing you, Terry. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck. And next the pra- week. and the practice sessions, don't forget. Oh, of course, yeah, you do the practice. Yeah, I actually was going to mention that they kept people coming yeah. to see you and you give your tips in in, in whatever. Uh, I do them in my log cabin where you know Peter Manley does them in his shed. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they all do that. Because um, uh, Andrew Buckle, a friend of ours, I think he's he's been to yourself uh, once or twice. He's yeah, yeah, little, yeah, he's been a couple of times, yeah. A little bit of diatitis, he's great. And what a dark That's fan right. he is. He just travels everywhere. Exhibitions all over the country, he loves it. That's right, yeah, yeah. I haven't done any lately because um, the, the circuit's been so so busy, but... Next year, I'll be able to book a few in if I've, I've got more time on my hands. Yeah, that would be great. Well, I'll tell you what, Terry, thank you so much, mate. Say best of luck next week in, in, in Belgium for, for the European Championship. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. No problem. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Thanks, Terry. Great to catch up with the ball there, Terry James. And this time, we've seen Terry Grace in the big stage of World Darts for much longer. But, of course, he will be available for the exhibitions and, of course, the coaching there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on Tonks and Tales. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Twitter and join us next week. And more Behind the Bar, Paul Star brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Darts Championship. We'll see you then.